Raccoon. The word raccoon comes from the Native American word arakan, which means he scratches with his hands. In the early 18th century, American colonists left out the A sound in the name, and the name eventually took on the form, raccoon. In the olden days, raccoon pelts were called jeanette furs because the animal resembled a jeanette with its striped tail. Later on it was the animal became known as a jeanette or raccoon. In the decades following the discovery of raccoons by the expedition of Christopher Columbus, the first man, who left a description of these animals, scientists argued about which of the known species this predator belonged to. Options were considered the most unexpected. The raccoon was counted among dogs, badgers, and even cats. Carl Linnaeus suggested to include it in the genus bears, calling it the washing bear. It was not until 1780 that it was placed in its own genus, the raccoon. Procyon, whose name means similar to a dog. Scientists later found out that the first members of this family lived on the territory of France and Germany 25 million years ago. The first fossil raccoons are known from the early Oligocene, about 30 million years ago, of North America. But it is possible that this group separated from its closest relatives, the bears and the prey, back in Asia, and only made its way to the New World via land, and finally formed in the tropics and subtropics of North America. According to some versions, raccoons were the first carnivores to enter South America, which had long been isolated from North America. This was in the late Miocene, about 12 to 15 million years ago, probably shortly before the land bridge between the two continents was re-established. Bridge between the continents. Most likely, these ancient raccoons moved along chains of islands, swimming and on logs crossed sea straits. Paleontological evidence suggests that raccoons were a fairly abundant and thriving group, perhaps playing a role in the role in the extinction of most of the specialized branches was played by the difficult competition with the coons, which inhabited both Americas later than the raccoons and displaced them from some ecological niches. It is a medium-sized animal with lush fur and short legs. The raccoon moves on the soles of its feet, stooping, hunched over, turning its front legs outward, and shuffling clumsily as it goes. The paws are large and flat with tenacious toes. The front paws resemble thin human hands, which make the raccoon unusually dexterous, are particularly sensitive, and allow the raccoon to handle food. The raccoon picks up food with its front paws before before they put it in their mouth. They have well-developed hearing, which makes them especially attentive. Raccoons have a well-developed sense of touch. The toes are deeply divided, grasping. The muzzle is short with large, erect ears, and there are dark mask-like spots around the eyes on the pale muzzle. The ears are large, protruding from the fur and rounded at the tips. The raccoon is omnivorous. There is a seasonal change in its diet. In spring and early summer, the basis of its diet is animal feed. In the second half of summer and autumn he prefers plant food. The main animal food of the raccoon is insects and frogs, less often reptiles, snakes, lizards, crayfish and crabs, fish, rodents and bird eggs. The plant diet consists of berries, acorns, nuts and fruits. Before eating, the raccoon rinses its food in water, hence its Russian name Polosun and the Latin species Loder. Most of the information about its environment is acquired by touch. If raccoons live near people, they will readily dig through garbage. Interesting facts raccoons can't dig their own holes, so they use shelters dug by other animals for shelter. The raccoon is capable of reaching speeds of 24 km per hour. Raccoons' tendency to pre-rinse the food they find causes a great deal of speculation. The earliest speculation that has since been disproved is a limited production of saliva, causing the need to wet the prey. The most common and plausible explanation is thought to be the imitation of catching prey out of water, which is incorporated in raccoons at the genetic level. Some researchers speculate that the animals do this out of boredom. For example, a caged raccoon can spend hours washing a piece of meat in water, in the wild, the process is much faster. A raccoon can have some other kind of fun, for example, it can wrap a blade of grass around its nose or, lying on its back, the raccoon could play in other ways, e.g. he could wrap a blade of grass around his nose, or he could lie on his back and build a straw mat on his belly, using his tail to protect the fragile contraption from falling apart. Collapse 
scientists observe that raccoons learn to respond to their own nicknames by distinguishing them from other words. Raccoons prefer watermelons to melons.